Hello, bienvenidos. Today I'm doing solo travel with my little baby by train. It's gonna be her first time on the train and it's gonna be my first time traveling by train on an Amtrak with an infant. We just bought a regular coach seat and every infant under two gets a free ride with the purchase of an adult ticket. So she's a little free rider. Soy Darlene, a Spanglish speaking mama vlogger. This is my five month old daughter. And on this channel, we speak Spanglish, anything Nicaragua and life as a bicultural family. Because, oh, we're cutting off her head. <laughs> I am from the US and my husband is from Nicaragua and we are going visit Ho Hija. <laughs> we're going visit her dad's side of the family. And that is why we're traveling by train today. <coughs> you wanna talk? If you're interested in this type of content, consider subscribing and let's get into the video. We have to go by ourselves because, well, he's gonna help us get on the train and everything, but He's gonna come meet us down in Nicaragua a little bit later on. I'm gonna be traveling by train like a single mother. <laughs> but, yeah. Good thing I have at least help to get onto the train because I have one, two, three, four, five, six things to bring with me. <laughs> Good luck, I say. We already look a little disheveled because it is freezing outside and it's so staticky and dry and we've been sitting here for an hour and something already almost so so every time somebody walks in or goes out, it's just freezing cold in here. And there's not really any way, anywhere to get away from that cold. Celsius. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> she just wants to grab the camera. If you don't know what the Amtrak is, it is a passenger train network. It has a whole bunch of trains that mostly originate from Chicago and go all over the US. And then in between train stations where the, tr the train can't go or doesn't go, they also have some bus routes that connect. It's usually cheaper than driving a car and usually slower, except if you're with a nursing baby like I was and you would have had to stop every hour or two hours to use the bathroom, fill up gas, take the baby out of the car seat, let her stretch. Sometimes she gets crabby in the car when she's in there for too long. Also have to stop in order to feed her. Ready? <laughs> Still wide awake, you van a ser las diez. Way past her bedtime. Yeah. <laughs> Camera ready, baby ready. Uchi, noche mila. Oh, she's there. If you buy your ticket online like we did, you actually get your ticket in an email as a PDF, so you can just download that, that on your phone and show that to the the um, what's it called, the attendant or the conductor or the ticket person. I don't know what they're called once you get on the train. Your other option though is to buy at the station, but there is no need to print anything if you do end up buying online. I can't remember for sure, but I think at some stations they actually check your ticket before you get on the train. I think you have to in the back. Back that way? Yeah. And they didn't at this time, so that was kind of good because Tomas had to help me with all my bags and her purses and everything. Where are you going to? Union Depot. Minneapolis. Minneapolis next star. All right, thanks. Ooh, that cold is bitter. <laughs> I can hardly breathe. Oh, it's cold. Oh, holy cow. <coughs> Bye, Daddy. Careful. And then come on, Amor. So he actually came on the train with me and just dropped off all the stuff. Y él salió. Yeah, daddy. Before the train left the station. No problem, we're still here. We're just making last call for everybody to get together, get organized, and ready. Okay, I love you. Oh. 
he could have gotten a free ride. <laughs> Once you show your ticket, they put a little thing above your head that shows where your destination is and then every time you stop at a station there's people walking up and down the train cars checking who needs to get off and if you're sleeping or whatever they always let you know that hey it's your stop so you don't miss your destination. Your carry-on bags get left on shelving like right inside the door when you first get on the train and then you bring your personal items up the stairs to you or to your seat. For the coach seats there are overhead racks and plenty of leg room. Each traveler for the Amtrak is allowed two carry-ons and then two personal items plus an extra item that doesn't count towards those if you have an infant under two. It's not very comfy on the floor, I'm telling you. They say your carry-ons are supposed to be less than 50 pounds, but every time I've ridden the Amtrak, I didn't have to get my bag weighed, so I have no idea if I was under 50 pounds or not. And they also say they charge $20 for an overweight bag. Igual, no sé. <laughs> Obviously, you should have your name tag on every one of your bags. That's like standard travel procedure, I think. You can also take two free checked bags, which goes into some storage part of the train car. Pero nunca he hecho eso. We've never had that many bags. We've just had our carry-ons and our personal. And then they also say $20 each for each additional checked bag up to four bags. So basically, you could take eight bags with you. I think you can also take your bike on there, but I'm pretty sure you have to pay a little extra when you buy your ticket. I'm not sure how that works because I've never done that either. loud and wake her up but I guess I should go somewhere else where it's kind of dark. The bathroom. Our ride was quite nice. I have always had good experiences on the Amtrak and this time there was a guy that had some issues like I don't know if he was having a panic attack or something. Anyway they took care of him and got him off the train and I talked to a guy who said he's been traveling the Amtrak for over nine years and they always there's very few instances where something like that happens but they always take care of it if you have a complaint about somebody or whatever you can go talk to one of the attendants y te pueden ayudar. 
maybe find a new seat if you have to or whatever. It's super nice, especially traveling through the night because people are just like tired. Mostly people are sleeping. It's pretty quiet. The seats are comfortable. You can actually lay them back almost all the way, which I don't know. I always have this like, I don't really want to do it because what if the person behind me doesn't have enough room, but there's so much room. You can easily lay your seat down all the way. Not like completely flat like a bed, but like pretty far. Also, if you're traveling in the winter, like we have the heat is turned on, which is obviously nice. And it was like warm enough if you're sitting there, but for sleeping, I needed a blanket. So then they don't have the dumb armrest between seats like they do on airplanes. That makes it really uncomfortable. On the train, they don't have that. So you can take up two seats if if there's not too many people, which is not a very busy time of year for them. So we were able to take two seats and I was able to put the car seat right there next to me, not like taking up space in the aisle or I didn't have to hold her on my lap the whole time. I mean, they have some stops that are like 15 minutes or something. So you can actually get off and stretch your legs a little bit, just walk around and get some fresh air. Those are the basics of traveling the Amtrak in the United States. And I hope I covered everything. <laughs> Gracias por ver. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Maybe you'll take the Amtrak sometime. It's a super great way to travel. Hoy mi pregunta es, have you ever traveled by train, specifically the Amtrak? Did you like it? And do you have any other tips to share? Comment below because sometimes the community of people have the best tips and advice. You are really being a squirmer. <laughs> you do not want me to film, do you? Oh my goodness. Gracias por ver. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the thumbs up if you did. Really helps to support my channel. And with that, I need to start my next video of flying 15 hours with a baby for the first time. Stay tuned for that video. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Each travel can bring. Traveler. I'm gonna do this. Oh, did you puke? I didn't even notice. Sorry about that. Have you ever travel traveled? Why can I not talk today? The air is so darn freezing outside, so dry. So our hairs were just majorly staticky. Both of us, uh, I just kind of like wet it down. So <laughs> that's why we look kind of cool. Hello.